Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about trigonometrical leveling. It may be defined as the process of determining the relative elevations of different stations from observed vertical angles and known distances. So in trigonometrical leveling, we will find elevations measuring the vertical angles and distances. This is an indirect method of leveling and is less accurate than the ordinary leveling. But in mountainous regions and hilly areas, this method is of great value. The results are comparatively more accurate. Trigonometrical leveling is commonly used in topographical work to find out the elevation of the top of buildings, chimneys, church tops, towers, etc. If the distance between the two points is too large, we need to apply a combined correction for the earth's curvature and refraction. This is the correction. In this, d is the distance in kilometer. The apparatus required to conduct trigonometrical leveling are theodolite, tape, staff, peg, and sometimes ranging rods also required. Trigonometrical leveling falls into two cases. Base of the object accessible base of the object inaccessible base of the object inaccessible has two subdivisions single plane method and double plane method in today's lecture we are going to only see base of the object accessible base of the object accessible means that from the instrument station the base of the object is accessible and we can go there and take the measurements let us keep this object as a tower. Q is the top of the tower and Q dash is the bottom of the tower. Also, let us keep P as the instrument station. In the instrument station, we have the tripod and the theodolite. Let us make a horizontal projection from the center of the theodolite. Let us keep this point as a Q double dash. Let us keep this height as H2 and let us keep this height as H1. Using the telescope in the theodolite, we have to focus the bottom of the tower and we have to note the angle alpha 1. It is the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower. Now we have to focus to the top of the tower and take the reading alpha 2 which is the angle of elevation to the top of the tower. In the benchmark, we have to keep a staff. Let us keep yes as the staff reading in the benchmark taken from the station P. First, we are going to find the total height of the tower. So let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan formula. We know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So tan alpha 1 will be equal to the opposite side H1 upon the adjacent side D. So it will be H1 upon D and for H1 we will get D tan alpha 1. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle again we can apply tan formula. Tan alpha 2 will be equal to H2 upon D. So for H2, we will get D tan alpha 2 to get the total height of the object or the tower. We need to add H2 and H1. So when we add these two, we will get the total height to find the reduced level at the top of the tower that is Q. We have to add the reduced level at the benchmark, the staff reading S yes, and the height H2. When we add the reduced level at the benchmark and the staff reading, we will be in this elevation. Then to find the reduced level of the top, still we have to add H2. That is why this comes this way. Let us see how to find the reduced level at the bottom. That is Q dash. First we need to add the reduced level of benchmark and the staff reading. So we will be in this elevation. But we need to find the reduced level in this point. So we have to subtract H1. Since we are going downwards, we have to subtract. Now let us see a problem. 
using the data given in the question, we can draw the diagram. A theodolite was set up at a distance of 150 meter from a tower. This is the tower. The theodolite was set up at a distance of 150 meter. The angle of elevation to the top of the tower was 10 degree 8 minutes. While the angle of depression to the foot of the tower was 3 degree 12 minutes. The staff reading on the benchmark of the reduced level 50.217 with the telescope horizontal was 0.88 meter. This is the reduced level at the benchmark and this is the staff reading. Find the height of the tower and reduced level of the top and foot of the tower. First, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, we can apply tan formula. Tan 3 degree 12 minutes will be equal to H1 upon 150. In this way, for H1, we will get 8.386 meter. Now, we have to take this triangle. Again, we can use the tan formula. Tan 10 degree 8 minutes will be equal to H2 upon 150. In this way, we will get H2. That is 26.809 meter. To find the height of the tower, we need to add these two. When we do that, we will get 30.195 meter. To find the reduced level of the top, we need to add the reduced level in the benchmark, the staff reading and this height. We will get this. To find the reduced level of the bottom, first we need to add the reduced level at the benchmark and the staff reading. Then we have to subtract this height so that we will get this. Now let us see one more problem. A theodolite was set at a distance of 200 meter from a chimney and the angle of elevation to its top was 10 degree 48 minutes. The staff reading on a benchmark of reduced level 70.25 meter with the telescope horizontal was 0.977 meter. Find the reduced level of the top of the chimney. We can keep this height as H. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, we can use the tan theta formula. Using that, we can find H. For that, we will get 38.152 meter. To find the reduced level of the top, we need to add the reduced level at the benchmark, the staff reading and this height so that we will get this. In the next video, we can see the base inaccessible method. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.